Welcome, political enthusiasts. Today, we delve into the intriguing intersection of technology, politics, and the fate of American democracy. The looming 2024 election carries profound consequences, not just for the immediate future but potentially for the very structure of the democratic process in the United States. The players? None other than former President Donald Trump, Vice President Kamala Harris, and tech mogul Elon Musk. Each wields immense influence, and the stakes couldn't be higher. So, we begin with a provocative question, could this election truly be the last one? Is America on the brink of irreversible change? Elon Musk, the guardian of democracy or a voice of alarm? On September 29th, Elon Musk shocked many when he took to X, formerly Twitter, with a dire prediction, if Donald Trump does not win. This will be the last election. He is not a threat to democracy, he is the only way to save it. Musk's declaration was a lightning bolt in the political landscape, adding urgency to an already contentious election season. But what exactly does Musk mean by the last election? Musk's argument revolves around immigration and citizenship. He claims that the Democratic Party is accelerating the naturalization of undocumented immigrants, with the strategic intent of reshaping the electorate in their favor. His concern centers on battleground states, key to determining the next president, where even small margins can swing the outcome. If Democrats successfully fast-track citizenship for millions of immigrants, Musk theorizes, they could create a permanent majority, thereby eliminating the possibility of future contested elections. But here's where Musk's theory gets both interesting and questionable, his hypothesis isn't backed by hard evidence. Musk points to states like Pennsylvania and Wisconsin where electoral margins are slim. But his claim that Democrats are manipulating immigration policy to dominate elections lacks concrete proof. Nevertheless, his rhetoric resonates with a significant portion of the electorate, particularly those who see uncontrolled immigration as a threat to national security and American identity. Musk's message taps into deep-seated anxieties about the future of democracy and the potential for one-party rule, making this a highly emotional issue for voters. Donald Trump, the man at the center of it all. At the heart of this drama is Donald Trump, whose presence continues to dominate American politics. Musk's endorsement of Trump isn't merely symbolic, it's a rallying cry for those who believe that Trump's brand of nationalism is the antidote to what they perceive as a leftward drift in American politics. For Musk and others who share his concerns, Trump represents the last bastion against the dissolution of a competitive political landscape. Yet. Trump's position on immigration and national security is no less controversial. In his typical bombastic style, Trump recently accused Vice President Kamala Harris of directly causing the influx of illegal immigration, labeling her actions as the most serious crime of our time. He has called for her impeachment or resignation, tying her to what he claims are hundreds of deaths due to lax border security policies. Though Trump offers no concrete evidence for these claims, his words carry weight with his base, further polarizing the debate on immigration. Trump's strategy is clear, paint himself as the strongman who can restore order to a nation that, in his view, has been weakened by democratic policies. He promises to complete the border wall and launch the most extensive deportation effort in U.S. history. These pledges, though extreme, have proven to be effective in energizing his supporters particularly those who prioritize national security and fear the consequences of unchecked immigration. Kamala Harris, the battleground of immigration policy. While Trump and Musk dominate headlines, Kamala Harris finds herself in a delicate position. As the sitting vice president, she has been at the forefront of the immigration debate, especially after her high-profile visit to the Arizona border in late September. Harris has worked to project an image of toughness on immigration even as Trump lambasts her efforts. She's also quick to remind voters of Trump's past failures to act decisively on border security, particularly his obstruction of a bipartisan border security bill earlier this year. Harris argues that Trump's interference was politically motivated, designed to prolong the immigration crisis for electoral gain. Harris's position is complex. On one hand, she is tasked with defending the administration's policies which many Americans view as too lenient. On the other hand, 
she must distance herself from Trump's accusations of incompetence and criminality. Harris has framed her role as one of problem-solving, contrasting Trump's rhetoric with her attempts to pass real legislation. She argues that Trump's grandstanding on immigration is empty and that when given the chance to support bipartisan reform, he chose instead to sabotage the effort for personal political benefit. The drama intensifies Musk's political aspirations. Adding another layer to this unfolding drama is Elon Musk's desire to play a more active role in government. Musk has openly stated that he is willing to work without pay or official title in a Trump administration, though Trump has expressed skepticism about Musk taking on a formal role. Given his numerous business commitments, the possibility of Musk serving as a high-level advisor is tantalizing. Could Musk, the visionary behind Tesla and SpaceX, become a guiding force in a second Trump administration? Their relationship is both curious and compelling. Musk, the tech innovator, and Trump, the populist politician, make for an unlikely pair. Yet, Musk's growing political involvement signals that he sees something uniquely valuable in Trump's vision for the future. Musk has gone from a peripheral figure in politics to someone deeply involved in shaping the discourse, particularly around issues of free speech, government overreach, and the role of technology in society. His willingness to align with Trump underscores the billionaire's belief that only drastic measures can save America from what he perceives as an existential crisis. Immigration, the fault line in American politics. It's impossible to ignore the centrality of immigration in this election. Both sides view it as a critical issue, though their perspectives differ vastly. For Trump and Musk, immigration is a security threat that could destabilize the country if not controlled. They argue that lax immigration policies could lead to irreversible changes in the electorate and, by extension, the very fabric of American democracy. For Harris, immigration is an issue of governance and responsibility. She presents herself as someone willing to make tough choices and enact real reforms, contrasting Trump's rhetoric with her legislative efforts. Harris has portrayed herself as the candidate who understands the complexities of the border issue and is willing to work across the aisle to find solutions. Conclusion, the fight for democracy. As the 2024 election draws nearer, the stakes are clear. This isn't just a contest between two candidates or two parties, it's a referendum on the future of American democracy itself. Elon Musk's warning of a last election may be an exaggeration but it reflects a real and growing fear that the political system could be fundamentally altered in the years to come, whether through immigration, policy, or sheer political will. The dynamics of power are shifting, and the outcome of this election will shape the nation for decades. In this critical moment, it's up to the voters to decide which vision of America they believe in. Will it be Trump's promise of strong borders and national security? Harris's pledge for legislative reform and cooperation? Or perhaps Musk's vision of a technologically advanced, free speech-focused future? One thing is for certain, your vote will not just decide the next president, but the direction of the entire country. In the words of Elon Musk, this could be the last election. Whether or not you agree with his assessment, it's a call to action. The power of democracy is in your hands and its future depends on what you do next.